We've actually talked about this topic not so long ago. It's, it's about North Korea, North Korean assistance to Russia, North Koreans, mutual assistance, military um, pact at this point. It's like a military alliance, actually, more than anything at this point. How uh, they've been worried about engineers being brought to Russia. How there have been worries that maybe this alliance will result in North Korea sending troops to Ukraine to fight in the war. And I've done a whole segment in which I complained how um, Russia and its allies keep escalating the war basically unchecked and the West is not responding in kind because the West is far too afraid. The West is far too afraid that its escalation will, I don't know, cause a nuclear disaster. But Russia doesn't care. North Korea doesn't care. China, as it seems, increasingly doesn't care. Iran definitely doesn't care. So things are looking worse and worse. The North Korean support is supposedly not big enough to shift the tides, but it's still... It is a military invasion of North Korea. <laughs> you know, if uh, we will witness North Korean entering the battlefield... If, you, if we witness North Korean um, troops on the actual front line. And it is important to remember, it will be the first military activity, active military activity of North Korea since the Korean War. So that is a huge, huge thing. That is a big deal that North Korea is becoming activized in a war for the first time from the Korean Civil War. And South Korea is definitely not happy about it. South Korea has great security concerns. South Korea believes North Korea has sent troops to Russia. Um, separately, South Korea's spy agency said the North was participating in the war in Ukraine and had decided to send 12,000 troops, including a special forces unit, Yonghap, news agency reported. Um, actually, from what is written somewhere in this thing here, North Korea has over a million active troops right now. North Korea has 1.28 million active duty troops, according to South Korea's latest data and has stepped up its development of a series of ballistic missiles and a nuclear arsenal, fueling regional tension and drawing international sanctions. And this action, this cooperation, very big cooperation between North Korea and Russia, escalated cooperation because till now it's just been sending missiles, sending equipment, not sending active troops to take part in the war. South Korean President Yoon suk Yeol held an unscheduled security meeting with key intelligence, military and national security officials to discuss North Korean troops involvement in Russia, war against Ukraine, it said. The participants shared the view that the current situation where Russia and North Korea's closer ties have gone beyond the movement of military supplies to actual dispatch of troops is grave security threat not only to our country but to the international community, it said. We have some videos actually on Twitter circulating of North Korean troops sporting mm, Russian uniforms and of training. Soldiers from DPRK are already dressed in Russian uniforms. The cutters have no more than 72 hours. This is the Sarhiviv training ground, Russian Federation, supposedly. So let's quickly take a look at this video.
some footage has surfaced from. You see? This is a big deal. This is a huge deal. This escalates the war. Like, it's not already. So, it's like. Till now, it's just been a war between Russia and Ukraine, with each side sort of providing, uh, with allies providing weaponry, shells, um, drones, missiles, etc. But now, one of the allies is entering the war directly, de facto itself invading Ukraine. That is, if we will see. North Korean troops enter active combat. Yep. North Koreans. Yep. There's another video here. According to sources that publish this recording, we can see North Korean soldiers uh, training in one of Russia's eastern facility polygons. Those recruits will supposedly will soon join directly in the war with Ukraine, which will make a mess of geopolitics. So let's take a look at this one as well. It's still a huge escalation. Еще. Их миллионы тут. Вот новые подкрепления. I'm still surprised, to be quite honest with you, that the possibility of North Korea entering warfare for the first time since the Korean Civil War, that that possibility is not treated as a far bigger deal in the West. That this sort of escalation does not produce a very decisive and quick response from Western allies. At least two things should happen from this. Should uh, North Korea actually send troops to take part directly on the front line? One the Allies should send much more aid and weapons much faster from now on because escalation must be responded with escalation in some way, in my opinion. The West cannot just keep up its mediocre aid while the other side keeps escalating, escalating, escalating without any repercussion, suppose, apparently. The other thing that could happen is, I don't know, Maybe Poland should just send troops directly to Ukraine to help fight uh, the Russians. You know? Uh, Ukrainian troops being trained in the EU, EU is not even nearly the same as North Korea just sending its troops. The equivalent would be Poland just sending troops to fight in Ukraine. It's not the same sort of escalation in cooperation. You know? It's just not the same. Also, arguably, China could provide better troop training for Russia than, Ch than Russia. continue so this is a big deal this is a very big deal of course North Korean training and equipment itself is not um, like the best in the world 
but it is still adding additional soldiers to the front line to be thrown in midways, for example, you know, Russia's favorite strategy. And even if the North Korean equipment is not the best in the world, it still adds to the overall... Um, it still all adds to the overall arsenal. It's like with the... What people said about the initial standing of North Korean art artillery shells. If it's like, if they send a million shells to Ukraine and even just half of that number functions properly, then that's still half a million shells that work properly. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, I've already said it. You'll have to watch the VOD. 12,000 according to South Korean intelligence. About 12,000 troops are being sent. Alongside with its special forces unit. Yoon's office said South Korea together with its allies have been closely tracking North Korea's troop dispatch to Russia from the initial stages. It did not, however, provide any intelligence to back up these, the assertion to, of troop deployment. It also did not specify uh, if it had information on whether North Korean troops were involved in combat. Yonhap said that the agency recently learned of the North Korean decision to deploy four brigades, including a special forces unit, and that the movement of troops has already started. Also, to answer the question, how many troops can North Korea spare to send? Well, considering that North Korea has currently, there is a very specific number here somewhere, 1.28 million active duty troops, I don't think sending a couple of thousand is such a big deal to North Korea. And it also says what I've said before, deploying troops to Russia, if confirmed, would be its first major involvement in a war since the 1950-1953 Korean War. And of course, uh, North Korea has been supplying uh, Russia with missiles, with shells, with equipment. North Korea has uh, denied it. Russia has denied it. Nobody believes it. Nobody like the evidence is there. So there, North Korea invading Ukraine. Geopolitically, I think that's a big deal. That is a pretty big deal. Sending 12,000 troops is still more than sending nothing. And it's basically a new country entering the conflict directly, which has not been the case till now in this war. We'll see. I'll be just, I'm just curious what the response from... Once we start actually getting reports, if we get reports of North Korean troops on the ground, on the battlefield, at the front line, then it opens up a question. What's the West's response to this? What's South Korea's response, first of all? South Korea is, I think, the most unhappy party about this. So would that ramp up the aid from South Korea significantly? What would the response from the collective West be? Because I, I sure hope that um, just condemnation will just not end at condemnation because that's just ridiculous. Responding to such an escalation with just words. And the weirdest part about all this is that the West has been pretty... I don't know, it feels like n this is not being talked about loudly enough that North Korea is basically entering the war actively. Like, I'm, I'm a bit stumped that this is not a much more...
prominent topic when it comes to news and media. Ukraine war latest. 11,000 North Korean troops will be ready to fight in Ukraine by November the 1st, Budanov says. So we're getting reports upon reports upon reports of troops getting sent, troops getting trained, outfitted, and now we have a date on when these North Korean troops will supposedly be ready, combat duty ready, ready for combat. November the 1st, according to Budanov. Key developments. Budanov says close to 11,000 North Korean troops in Russia will be ready to fight in Ukraine by November the 1st. Ukraine liberates Kharkiv Oblast village. That's not important. Close to 11,000 North Korean troops are in Russia and will be ready to fight in Ukraine by November 1st. Ukrainian military intelligence head Kirill Budanov said in comments published by the war zone on October 17th. Budanov said the first group of 2,600 soldiers will be deployed to Russia's Kursk Oblast where Ukraine began a cross-border incursion in August and still holds significant swaps of territory. The troops will be using Russian equipment and ammunition, but further information is currently unknown. So you see, this already sort of is one idea in which Russia could be utilize, utilizing those uh, North Korean troops to go to Kursk to sort of fight against the Ukrainian invasion of Kursk, which would allow Russian troops proper to just focus on its continuous um, southeastern push, you know? That's one idea in which those troops could be utilized in Kursk. We don't have the full picture right now, Budanov said. Concerns about North Korea's direct involvement in Russia's full-scale war have reached a fever pitch in recent days. Speaking at a press conference in Brussels on October 17th, President Volodymyr Zelensky said that Russia is planning to train and engage not only infantry but also North Korean specialists in various branches of the military. We know about 10,000 soldiers from North Korea they are preparing to send to fight against us, he added. So it's 10,000, it's then 11,000. South Korean sources seem to say that it's actually 12,000. The Kiev Independent contacted the president's office to ask about the discrepancy between Budanov's and Zelensky's figures, but had not received a response at the time of publication. South Korea's National Intelligence Services sent October, on October 18th that Pyongyang had recently decided to deploy 12,000 North Korean soldiers, including special forces, to support Russia's war effort. Denise did not say if the troops had already been sent into the field or where they might be deployed. At the same time, Pentagon spokesperson Pat Ryder said on October 17th that he can't confirm whether there are North Korean forces that have gone to Russia but added that the U.S. would continue to monitor the situation. If the reports were true, it would demonstrate the situation that Russia finds itself in, uh, the dire situation that it finds itself in, in terms of its forces on the battlefield. And so it is, and so it just demonstrates that desperation in terms of identifying additional forces for their military. So there you go. North Korea enters the war theater as a participant. Or so all signs in the sky seem to indicate, considering the troop movement, considering what we've seen so far. It seems very, 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 very likely that we will soon be seeing North Korean troops deployed somewhere on the battlefield in Ukraine like in Kursk or somewhere else.